Okay, uh, this week we're going to talk about the church is a family, is our title of our message, right? So, this is our third message in our series of messages from the seven sayings that Jesus gave on the cross, his seven words on the cross. And the previous ones we'll review real quick and then we'll go into number three. この時イエスは言われた父よ彼らを許しください。自分が何をしているのか知らないのです。Luke chapter 23 verse 34 has the first word that Jesus spoke on the cross that we looked at two months ago. And so Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. So on the cross, in the midst of his pain and suffering, Jesus is thinking of others, and specifically even those who are crucifying him, and asking for God's mercy and forgiveness on them. それは、シエスを十字架に、あ、つけられて人、イエスを殺している人のためにシエスは祈っているのは、シエスの深い愛を示すところですね。This really shows the deep love of Jesus. And then we looked at the next saying of Jesus from the cross, 第2のシエスの7つの言葉を見るときは、もうそれは、ルカ 23章の43節の方ですね。すると、イエスははっきり言っておくがあなたは今日私と一緒に楽園にいると言われた。Luke 23:43 has the second word that Jesus spoke while he was on the cross and Jesus answered them, I tell you the truth, today you will be with me in paradise. そしてはもうすぐそばにいた一人 シエスとイシュニジュジカジョデクルシンディルヒトに話した言葉ですね。多分その人はもう先の第一の言葉を聞いてシエスの憐れみとその深い愛を感じて自分はもう悔い改めたいこの方を信じたいと思ってでしょう
So think of Joseph and Mary, right? Yeah. Anybody else? Hokani Ari Maska. Any other thoughts? Ah, Watash Tachi no Koto. Thinking of us. We are brothers and sisters of Christ because God has adopted, God the Father adopted us into his family. Yes, that too. Yeah. So there, there's a couple of main things that people might imagine looking at this, and maybe there's some other ideas too. First of all, you know, there's Jesus' earthly family that he grew up with, and then second, there's the church, all of us and those who believed in Jesus. But let's begin from here and talk about Mary and think about Mary a little bit and her relationship with Jesus and the things that she might have felt and stuff as Jesus is going through his ministry and his life and finally dying on the cross. Mazu Sebo Maria no koto kangai masho. Sebo Maria wa dono yo ni kanjite, dono yo ni omotu de shoka. Shi suwa mo tanjo kara sono hoshi no michio ayumarete hoki no kiseki toka nasate soste saigo ni jujika jo de. So there's a, a painter, John Collier. Have you ever heard of John Collier? John Collier to Yugaka. Maybe only people who study art would have heard of him. He's not that famous. But he, he painted the Annunciation scene like this, when the angel Gabriel comes to Mary and tells her she's going to get pregnant by the Holy Spirit. When you look at this, what do you notice about this painting? Is this how you would imagine or paint the scene? No? Everybody would do differently? Yes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> her shoes. Yeah. <laughs> well, this painter is a British painter, and he probably did this about 100 years ago. Tabun hyakunen mai ni sono kori agaka wa kori o mo kaki masu sori wa mo igirisu jin de kaki masu demo miru to kono gaka wa mo so I think what he's trying to express is that, that Mary was a very normal young girl that she might be just like in your town, the girl who lived next door, you know, the daughter in the next house over, that, that might be Mary. So, kono kariya wa mo kamisama no me no mai ni, Maria wa tokubetsu tatoi sonzai no koto de, kono Maria wa futsu de wa nai to kamisama no me no mai to kangai rari maskeri de mo, tabu machi no hito bitu wa mo hoko no musume to kawaru nai gurai, so I think Collier is trying to express the idea that although in God's eyes, Mary may have been a very, very special and precious young girl, in the way the townspeople around her would think, 
she might have been quite ordinary. Of course, she was, you know, a good daughter, you know, and things, and a, and a nice girl, but she might not have seemed much different than many other women in the town, young ladies in the town. Uh, and that's what the painter is expressing, is that from one standpoint, Mary is a very ordinary young girl. So, これはもうある、uh, あるイメージから見たら、このマリアはもう普通の若い女性です。ということを伝えたいと思ってこれを書いてと思います。もう一人の画家の絵を見たいと思います。これは有名なラファエルのことですね。ラファエルは多分皆さんはその名前を聞いたことがあると思います。Let's look at one more painting by Raphael, a very famous painting. And he painted the Annunciation like this. Raphael was so no, Jutai Kokuchi no, Bame no, Konyo ni, Egaki Mashita. My no, Eto Kurabitara, Nanaga Chigai Maska. What's different compared to the other painting? Yes, Mary seems very rich. She's not in an ordinary house, she's in a, a beautiful, huge place. <laughs> Maria wa mo, o kane mochi no musume. みたいですね。リップの家の中に住んでいる、いい服も着ていらっしゃるとか、もう偉い方のように描きました。So he paints her as, you know, a very important person, you know, a, a very tremendous person. And this, I think, is painting it more,、uh, what Raphael would try to communicate to people was that Mary was very special. She wasn't ordinary. And 500 years ago in Europe, Uh, painting her as a very wealthy person in a huge place, you know, made her look very special. And he's trying to communicate that Mary is really an amazing and wonderful person, I think. Raphael は語っているのはこの絵を通して、マリアは普通の娘じゃない。特別の存在で、リップの家の中のイメージは500年前のヨーロッパでは、もうこれは偉い方、語っているでしょう。これも間違っていると言えないでしょう。ある意味で。From one way of looking at, this isn't really wrong either, because he's not painting her as she actually was. He's painting her with what she symbolizes, what she will become as the mother of the Savior. So, このラフィエルの描いた絵は、そのままの若いマリアを描くことじゃなくて、マリアはどのような存在になるでしょうか救い主の母の役目を果たして、歴史の中、どのように語られるでしょう偉いマリア、セボマリアのことでしょう先に考えて、そのまま書きました。Okay, well, the Annunciation is a very important time, you know, and this is where the angel Gabriel comes to Mary and he tells her、uh, that You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name of Jesus. Tinchi Gabriel wa Maria no tokoro ni arawarete, anata wa migomote o toko no ko o umuga, sono ko o yesu to nazuki nesai. Sugoi hatsugin desu ne. Demo Maria wa, demo otashi wa shoujo desu. Kono koto wa fukano jinai ka? Doki kuto. Tinchi Gabriel wa, もう、聖霊の力によって、見ごもるのです。安心しなさい。とメリアは、はい。そのまま、賛<笑>成です。反対していなかった。でも、すごいことでしょう。<笑> so, Mary、uh, has the angel Gabriel appear before her, and the angel says that she's going to get pregnant, but she's like, but how? You know, I, I'm a virgin, I don't know a man. But the angel says, oh, by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the power of God, you'll be pregnant. And, and Mary's really like, oh,、uh, hi, you know, okay. <laughs> she, she accepted this, which is really pretty amazing, you know, that she didn't just go crazy, you know. Maria wa kruti ite to. Bikuri suru hodo no koto de wa nakata de shou ne, kono yona tokubetsu no koto. Something special like this, even if she'd gone a little crazy, it, it wouldn't have been that strange. And then, of course, We all know the story of, of the birth of Christ, I think. She is no kotan, no koto, Christmas no hanashi wa, tabun minisan wa mo, 
分かっていらっしゃると思いますけれどもこの絵はその交代の場面を示していますね。So here's a picture, you know, of the birth of Jesus, the nativity, seeing the birth of Christ. And I think people are pretty familiar with that. You know, it's the Christmas story, and everybody's probably heard something about that. But that also was a very amazing thing. でもこれも驚くべきの出来事たくさんありましてね。その特別の星が手に示されて、現れました。そして、もう羊飼いはやってきて、これは救い主だと礼拝していたでしょう。多くの特別のことが、驚くべきの出来事がありました。シエスの誕生の時。でもこれはもう、あと少し12月になって、多分クリスマスのことを、ジョース先生も話してくれるので、今日はそれをちょっとだけ考えましょう。But for image, let's just think about that a little bit, you know, the, the Christmas story, but we won't talk about it much because I think、uh, December is coming and Joseph will probably talk about it、uh, then and things. But just remember, you know, how the star appeared in the sky, you know, there's miracles and the, the shepherds come and worship. A lot of amazing things happen at the birth of Christ, you know. But I think people remember that, but I'm not sure how many people what, remember what happened. 40 days after Jesus was born, or about 40 days after Jesus was born. でも、クリスマスの物語を覚えていらっしゃる方が多いと思いますでも、その後、40日間経ったところ、その頃、何が起こったか覚えていらっしゃいますか ?What happens about 40 days later? Yes, okay, yeah. Okay. Yes, Jesus was dedicated at the temple in Jerusalem, and Anna and Simeon, the prophets, and the prophet came up and spoke about Jesus. So, no, 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 旧約聖書の起きてで、レビキ12章だと思いますけれども、もう子供を産むから、男の子を産むから、40日間はまだ清めていない。その後という考え方で、でもそれが終わって多分すぐ、その家族は、ご家族は死に参りしたでしょう。それはいつものことでした、その時代。So, In the Leviticus chapter 12 in the Old Testament, you know, when you gave birth to a child, then for 40 days you're not clean and you have to wait that long before you go to the temple to dedicate the child. And they probably went shortly after the 40 days. Okay, let's look at what、uh, the prophet Simeon said about Jesus. この預言者シミオンはイエスに関してどのようなことを話したか見てみましょう。これはルーカ2二28節からのところですね。This is starting at、uh, Luke chapter 2, verse 28. Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you can now dismiss, you now dismiss your servant in peace. Simeon は幼子を腕に抱き、神を伝えていた。主よ、今こそあなたはお言葉通り、このしもべを安らかに育ててくださいます。お言葉通りと書かれていますね。その前後を見たら、聖霊はその前にこのしみに伝えられて、シミオンは死ぬ,死ぬ前に救い主を自分の目で見ること、その約束をしてくださいました。それシミオンはもう年寄りで年配でもう待っていました。救い主は必ず私が死ぬ前に、死ぬまでに来てくれると。このところ、イエスを見て、赤ん坊のイエスを見て、ああ、これこそイスラエルの救い主、世の光と認めました。So, シミオン was promised by the Holy Spirit that he would not die until he saw the Savior of Israel. So he's been waiting, you know, he's getting old and he's at the temple and he's getting old, but he's waiting for the Savior to appear. And when they come in with the baby Jesus, he says, Here's the Savior. I've been waiting for this. 
引き続きますが、私はこの目であなたの救いを見てからです。これは万民のために整えてくださった救いで、違法人を照らす刑事の光、あなたの民、イスラエルのおまりです。And he continues, he says, For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all people, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. So, seeing Jesus is seeing salvation, is what he's saying here. Yes, o m i r u k o t o wa, skui o m i r u k o t o to kaware wa nai to, o s h a t i r u shou kono shimian. The child's father and mother marveled at what was said about him. 父と母は幼子についてこのように言われたことに驚いた。驚いていた。そうですよね。<laughs> I think so. I think many amazing things that happened, but here's, here's another amazing thing. もう多くの驚くべきの出来事があって、でもこれはもう一つでしょう。シミンは続きますね。But シミン goes on, he says, Then Simeon blessed him and said to Mary, his mother, This child is destined to cause the falling and rising of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be spoken against. Wow, that's, a, that's quite a statement. Simeon wa karedo shikuku shi, haha oye no maria ni itta, goran na sai, kono ko wa Israel no oku no hito o tao shitari, tachi agarase tari suru tamini. I think we could do a whole sermon just on this verse and analyzing what it means, but we're not going to do that. But then Simeon says, so that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed. And a sword will pierce your soul too. あなた自身も剣で心を刺しつつ貫かります。多くの人の心にある思いが腹輪にされた、されてためです。されるためです。So, what we see here is, you know, now Simeon is speaking directly to Mary and saying, a sword will pierce your heart also. このシミオンはこのところで、直接、その母親のマリアに向かって、あなた自身も剣で心を刺しつつ抜かります。どういうことでしょうか ?What does this mean? You know? Well, I think シミオン is speaking about all of the suffering that Jesus will go through and how hard it will be to be the mother of the Savior. シミオンは、もうイエスが受けている、受けるその大きな苦しみと悲しみのことを語っているし、そしてそのあ母親の役目は本当に辛いことを語っています。でも何よりも十字架のことでしょう。But more than anything, he, he's speaking of the cross. You know, what must it have been like for a mother to see her son crucified? The son that she knew was the savior. Screen you see, dear, to what cut the idu, haha, or you are, so no muskoga, jujika, nisketare, the bame no miru to, do kanjite de shoka. Now, Bernadette Karstensen painted this, which just zooms in on Jesus' feet and Mary, and titled this painting. Uh, mother of Sorrows. このベネデット・カイスティンソンという画家はこのようにそのメディアの姿とイエスの足その十字架元の場面をこのようにクローズアップして描きましたそして悲しみの母と台をつけましたメディアの悲しいこと続きが心を The place that just comes in where Mary is, is you know, feeling that pain and where a sword is piercing her heart. Next, I'll read the next one. Maria's 
感情のこと、気持ちを考えましょう。Let's think about how Mary felt probably as we read this next little section of scripture. これはヨハネ19章25節からです。This is a John chapter 19, 25 and following. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother, his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. イエスの十字架のそばにはその母と母の姉妹、クロッパの妻マリアとマグダラのマリアとが立っておりますこれをちょっと注意していただきたい。このマリアの姉妹と書かれたところは、それはクロッパの妻マリアを指しているかどうか。ちょっとために疑問がされていますね。<笑>その解釈者の間。日本語の方はもう同じ人のように書かれていると思いますけれども、英語でわからないですね。英語を見たら、多分そのグリッシュ語もちょっと不明のような言い方になっていますね。If we look here, his mother's sister and Mary, the wife of Clopas, if we look at the verse, you can't really tell if they're the same person or two different people. So sometimes that's something, apparently it's like that in the Greek as well,、uh, that it's, it's a little unclear. you know. So sometimes people talk about are there three women at the cross or are there four women at the cross <laughs> in this verse? この世紀にはもう十字架をもで立っている女性たちは4名ですか ?3 名ですかとたまに議論されています。But we don't care. <laughs> the thing I want to notice is that Mary has a close relative by her side. Maria wa mo chikai, uh, shinzoku no hito wa sobu ni iru to kizuki masho. So no dento teki no kai shaku de mo san nin des, jose tachi wa, kono, um, Maria no 姉妹と言われた人は、義理の姉妹です。クロップの妻です。つまり、クロップはヨセフの兄弟。それは伝統的な解釈。別の考え方は、4人になっています。あマリアの姉妹と言われた人は、その別の聖書の歌手にサルメと言われた人となっています。Okay. <laughs> so the traditional understanding is that、uh, there are three women at the cross, and Mary, the wife of Clopas, is the sister in law of Mary, the mother of Jesus. In other words, this Clopas is actually Joseph's brother, right? That's the traditional understanding. But sometimes people look at it and they say, no, the His mother's sister must mean Salome, who appears in a different Bible passage. But either way, it doesn't really matter for our purposes. But there's a, a relative there. Chikai Shinzoku no hito wa soko ni iru ということですね。そして引き続きます。When Jesus saw his mother there and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to his mother, Dear woman, here is your son. So、continuing, イエスは母とそのそばにいる愛する弟子とを見て母に夫人よご覧なさいあなたの子ですと言われた。So he doesn't turn to the relative, he turns to the disciple. その親族の人にじゃなくてその弟子の人に語りました。イエスは。So this disciple whom he loved Is usually understood to be the author of the Gospel of John. It's John. And according to church history tradition,、uh, John and Mary then went after this to live in Jerusalem for a time and then eventually moved to、uh, the area of Ephesus, that's in Turkey now.、Uh, and that's where they spent their lives.、Uh, John, of course, also got exiled to Patmos、uh, later at another time. そして、もう伝統的な考え方で、もう歴史、あずっと、この愛する弟子と言われた人は、このヨハネによる福音書の作者、ヨハネであり、そして、そのヨハネとマリアは、その後、エルスルムに暮らしていて、エフェソ
、現代のトルクの方に移動して、そこで長く暮らしていました。そして、パトモスへ追放されたこともありました。ヨハネは、マリアは一緒にいたか、それともそれはマリアも,も亡くなった時か、ちょっとわからないです。不明ですが。So we're not sure whether Mary was still alive when he was exiled to Patmos or not.、Uh, but Jesus entrusts his mother to a disciple, not to a relative. Yesu wa haha oye no koto o deshi no hitori ni sono sewa ste sewa o motomete irisharun desu ne. Shinzoku no hito dewa nai desu. And to the disciple, Jesus said, Here is your mother. From that time on, this disciple took her home. So they got a deshini, you are the minasai, and not no haha des. So no toki kara, kono deshi wa, yes no ha, o jibun no ie ni, iki totta, to arimas. Now, now,、uh, we should mention, because you'll probably hear it someday if you haven't heard it already. The Catholic interpretation is that John is just a representative of the church and that Mary is given to the whole church, not just to John. Okay? There's really nothing like that in this Bible section, but that's the way the Catholics interpret the verse. Kono, mo kita koto ga aru ka, sori tomo shorai ni itsu ka kiku ka, wakari masen kiri demo, kono Catholic kyo kai no ho no kai shaku de, Uh, 教義としてその、uh, マリアはもうヨハネに預けられていますけれどもヨハネは教会全体の代表者ですそれともマリアは教会の方となっていますそれはカテリックの教義の一つですけれども聖書の歌詞を見たらそのような意味は全然書かれていないのでちょっと疑問ができると思いますけれども、その解釈もあります。でも、とにかく、イエスは、親族の人にじゃなくて、弟子の一人に、母マリアのことを、その世話を頼みました。But what we really see is that John is asking, or I'm sorry, Jesus is asking John, a disciple, to take care of his mother, not a relative. So, here's a stained glass window that shows Uh, John and Jesus and Mary, これはステイングラスで、イエスの姿と母マリアとその弟子のヨハネのことが描かれています。And you know, you'll see this scene painted in various ways or displayed in various ways because at this point it's, it's just the three of them. You know, Jesus is talking to his mother and to the disciple. このところはもういろいろの芸のものの中に見えると思います。それは、イエスは母マリアと弟子のヨハネに話しているしゃるところです。その三人だけ。Now, why would Jesus entrust his mother to John, a disciple, when there are other relatives? We know that his sister, a sister or a sister-in-law is right there at the cross. We know from other Bible passages that Jesus had brothers and sisters and other relatives. Why John? Why a disciple? どうしてイエスは母マリアの世話を弟子の一人に頼んだでしょうかヨハネに。今見たように、他の親族はそこにいて、義理の姉妹か姉妹かちょっと不明ですけれども、その人もいて、あとは別の聖書の箇所で、シエスには兄弟姉妹もいました。普通は親族の人に頼むでしょ ?Normally you'd ask a relative to take care of mother.But we see not only is Jesus still concerned about others, about his mother and about the disciple, But he's entrusting his mother to a disciple. このところ、三つ目のシエスの十字架上の言葉ですけれども、シエスはまだまだ三つ目の言葉まで他の人のことを考えていらっしゃる愛を示していますが、どうして弟子の一人に、親族の人にじゃなくて
。他の兄弟姉妹も言った聖書によると、例えば、マルク6章3節。この人は大工ではないか、メリアの息子で、ヤコブ、ヨセ、ユダ、シモンの兄弟ではないか。姉妹たちはここで我々と一緒に住んでいるではないか。このように人々はイエスにつまずいた。彼はイエスはナザレにいた時ですね。イエスはあ素晴らしいお話し,して、でも人々はその間に疑問、議論していました。このイエスは私たちはもう小さい頃からずっと知っていますから、兄弟姉妹もいるし、どうして彼は偉い方になるべきでしょうか人は文句を言いましてね。<笑>私の息子じゃない。どうしてこの<笑>多分。<笑> so it says,、uh, Isn't this the carpenter? Isn't this Mary's son and the brother of James, Joseph, Judas, and Simon? Aren't his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Now, this is when Jesus went up to Nazareth and he, and he preached in his hometown. And the people, you know, he, he gave a wonderful talk, and then afterwards the people started complaining and stuff, different things, you know. And you can imagine them, hey, you know, we know, we know this guy since he was a little bitty kid, you know, why should he become something great and famous, you know? Why not my son? Maybe they said, I don't know. <laughs> so you, you have this attitude to people, Ningeno, Ningeno Taito wa, mo iro iro arimas ne. These people have various attitudes, but. But in another place, the Bible tells us over in Matthew, the Gospel of Matthew, about a time when Jesus was speaking to a crowd of people, and Mary and his brothers came, and they wanted to talk to Jesus, right? And Jesus didn't accept that they could come in and maybe interrupt his preaching, I don't know, and talk to him at that time. もう別のところ、マタイによる福音書の方ですけれども、ある時は、イエスは、もう群衆に向かってお話ししていらっしゃるところですね。でも、母マリアと兄弟が来て、あ、今すぐイエスと話したいという発言があって、でもイエスはそれを受け入れなかった。多分、その説教の途中のジャムだったかもしれませんとか、いろいろ考えられるけれども、シエスはその時におっしゃった言葉は興味深いですね。What Jesus said at that time, though, I think is, is very deep in meaning here. Matthew 12, 49 and 50. Pointing to his disciples, he said, Jesus said, the, Here are my mother and my brothers, for whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. これはまた12章49、50節ですけれども、イエスがお語りにあったところですね。そして、弟子たちの方を指して言われた。見なさい、ここに私の母、私の兄弟がいる。誰でも私の天の父の御心を行う人が私の兄弟姉妹、また母である。これは、興味深いすごい発言でしょう。どういう意味でしょうか ?This is really deep and an amazing thing, I think, but what, what does it mean? Well, I think it means that relationship by faith is even deeper and more important than relationship by blood. You know. Jesus is saying, I'm closer to these people who believe in me than I am to my family here on earth. という意味でしょう。シエスはこの私たちを信じている人々の方は私と親しいです。大事です。It might seem like a very severe thing to say at first, but Jesus, I think, wanted to take the opportunity of that moment to tell us 
how close a relationship is for those who believe in him. この信仰よりの関係はどんなに深いものか示したいと思ってこれをおっしゃったでしょう And you know this theme continues in many places in the Bible この例えばヨハナ6章40節私の御心はこう見て信じる者が皆永遠の命を得ることではあり私がその人を終わりの日に復活させることがだからである John 6:40 it talks about the father's will here and it continues the same idea for my father's will is that everyone who looks to the son and believes in him shall have eternal life and i will raise him up at the last day so saki ni saki no seiku ni mo chichi no mikokoro o okunao hito watashi no kyorai shimai to atta desu kare wa dou yu imi ka to imasu to このところを見て父の御心はシエスを信じて救われることです。So before it said whoever does the will of my father and here it tells us what the will of the father is which is to believe in Jesus and be saved and have that gift of eternal life. いえのいのちの贈り物をいただくのです。その宝の物をいただくのです。So we have this idea in the Bible, and it continues throughout the scripture, that even though Father God created each and every person, he created the whole earth and everything in it, that the close relationship with the Father comes through faith. And from the New Testament, we see through faith in Jesus Christ.世界のすべての者はバンブツはもう父なる神様が想像されましたそれで一人一人の人間はもうその関係があって父なる神様を想像主ですからすべての人の父であることは言えるでしょうしかし本当の親しい関係は信仰よりその父なる神様を信じて また、新約聖書から、イエスを信じて、よし、とされることです。神様の霊的の娘と霊的の息子となるのです。その親しい関係は、最も大事です。Most important relationship is becoming a spiritual son and daughter of God through faith in Jesus Christ. In 2 Corinthians 6.18, uh, it goes on and we have this word, God is talking, he says, I will be a father to you and you will be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. これは第二のクリントロクショ18節父と成り、あなた方は私の息子、娘となる全能の主は子を教えられるこれも信仰よりでしょう。And then, if we're here in First uh, John, we see John giving thanks for this. First John 3, 1. How great is the love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. 第一ヨハンに3章1節にこのヨハンによる福音書の作者は手紙を書いてこう言いました。御父がどれほど私たちを愛してくださるか考えなさい。それは私たちが神の子と呼ばれるほどで、事実またその通りです。そう、皆さんは神様の息子、神様の娘でしょうか。その通りです。ちゃんと答えてください。その通りです。皆さんは神様の子ですか。Amen. <laughs> are we all the children of God? Say, that's what we are. That's what we are. Amen. Isn't that wonderful?
これは素晴らしいでしょ驚くべきのことでしょ It's amazing. It's wonderful. You should give thanks for this all the time. いつも感謝すべきですね。Jesus,、uh, John talked about this at the very beginning of his gospel also. ヨハネはもうその福音書の書き出しの方からこのようなことを語っているでしょう。John 1, 12 and 13. Yet to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. しかし言葉は自分を受け入れた人、その名を信じる人々には、神の子となる資格を与えた。この人々は、地によってではなく、肉の欲によってではなく、人の欲によってでもなく、神によって生まれてのである。シエスを信じて、シエスの皆を信じている人々は、神の子。神様の娘、息子、養子とされます。霊的に。The people who believe in Jesus, the name of Jesus, are the children of God. Sons and daughters of Father God, adopted by faith into a spiritual relationship as children. And this is the church. The church is a family. これこそ教会のことであって、教会は家族です。私たちは兄弟姉妹です。互いに愛し合って、素晴らしい関係を。おったら神様は喜んでくださるでしょう。We are brothers and sisters in Christ, and when we have a peaceful and wonderful good relationship, God is pleased. We give God joy when we love one another like we should. You know? And why would the spiritual family be more important than the family by blood? どうして霊的な家族は父より家族より大事でしょうかこの通りです。<笑>永遠ですから。この地上で家族との関係はそれだけだったら数十年でしょう。Our earthly relationship to our family If that's all it is, it lasts a few decades. But our relationship to brothers and sisters of faith is eternal. So we might as well get along with each other and love each other. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to be a long time. Tijo no kazoku wa mo daiji desu. Sore wa tarashi desu te mo ichiji teki no kanke. Do minus wa シエスを信じて、霊的の関係を作れば、巨大姉妹として、永遠の命を一緒に楽しむのです。もう永遠は長いですから、泣くよくすべきでしょう。<笑>しないとつらいです。<笑> The church is a family. 教会は家族です。Jesus showed us that. When he gave Mary to the disciple instead of to his earthly family, because they have an eternal relationship, because Mary believed in Jesus. So she can be with John forever in heaven. And we hope that all of Jesus' brothers and sisters came to faith and that Joseph and everybody will be there. But Joseph's brothers and sisters maybe were not yet believers at the time that Jesus did that. So he had to give Mary to somebody who believed. イエスは十字架上でこの母マリアの世話を弟子に頼んだことはそれはこの弟子と母マリアも信者でしたからその関係は最も深い父,父よりの関係よりその時は多分兄弟姉妹イエスの兄弟姉妹はまるしイエスを信じていないかもしれませんそれでもう信じていない人に頼むのはできないと思ったでしょうし、イエス。それは
このヨハネと母マリアは永遠の関係を持って二人とも信じて、天国で他の方と一緒に家まりに。その他のイエスの兄弟姉妹、地上の人、もうあ,ある解釈は兄弟じゃなくていとこという解釈も、でもそれも親族。でもその一人一人もイエスを信じて天国に召されてと、あ祈りましょう。それも。みんなと一緒に。So some people think that where it talks about Jesus' brothers and sisters, they're really cousins.、Uh, and that's maybe possible. That's not the way I read it. Because in the Aramaic language, there wasn't a word for cousins. So they used the same word for brothers and cousins both. So it's not impossible. Aramaic、uh, ではその兄弟といとこの言葉は一つの言葉、その二つの意味で使われていましたので、so, この兄弟と言われている人は、いとこと空間のたを言えないです。でも、その前後を見たら、兄弟姉妹の関係の方が分かりやすいでしょう、前後から。でも、どっちも親族です。どっちも救われますように。シエス、まだ信じていない方も聞いていらっしゃるかもしれません。Maybe there's somebody listening who, who has not yet believed in Jesus and received this eternal life. I have good news for this person. This family of the church, it's a family that welcomes new people all the time. シエスはもう常に誘ってくださいます。ぜひこの家族に加えてください。Jesus is always inviting people, come and join the family. So let's close with a word of invitation from our Lord Jesus. 私たちの主、イエスの言葉、誘いの言葉で今日のメッセージを終えましょう。Matthew 11:28 and 29. Matthew 11:28, 29 says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. すべて重荷を負って苦労している者は私のもとに来なさい。あなた方を休ませてあげよう。私は入話で心の減り下ったものであるから、私の首引きを追って私に学びなさい。そうすれば、あなた方の魂に休みを与えられるであろう。アーメン。Let's pray. お祈りします。身の褒めたいます。見業を感謝します。私たちは弱いもの、罪深いものですけれども、あなたは私たちを見せず、帰り見てくださいます。いつも誘ってくださいます。もっとも深い、信仰よりの家族の関係に。どうか私たち一人一人がシエスを信じて、その娘と息子と呼ばれる資格をいただくように、あなたの養子とされますように、互いに愛し合って良い兄弟姉妹の関係を持つことができるように、助けて導きください。一人一人の上に見ておいて、豊かな祝福を与え、日常生活の中で、常に支えて助けてください。私たちはいつまでも死へと共に歩むことができるように、お導きください。精霊の力と、あなたの一位によって、私たちを導いて、良い道に行かせてください。今日の礼拝の時間を感謝します。声を合わせてなっと見舞いに
賛美することも祈ることも聖書の話もするのは素晴らしい特にです。心から感謝します。イエスの尊い皆によってお祈りいたします。アーメン。